Sydney turned it on in spades for the recent AIPC International Association of Convention Centres annual conference, with the theme transformation being aptly reflected in host venue ICC Sydney. The centrepiece in the $1.5 billion transformation of the Darling Harbour precinct, the ICC Sydney gave fellow convention centre leaders from around the world a first-hand look at how convention centres need to collaborate with their city if they're looking to attract key knowledge sectors. As ICC Sydney CEO and AIPC President Jeff Donaghy explains. Right from the time that it was announced two years ago that uh, this convention was coming here, the, the interest in seeing the design, the development, the integration within the precinct, all of the, the, the factors that have gone to make up our successful first six months of uh, operation have attracted an enormous amount of interest. The need to be involved and contribute to the planning of the city that they exist in and ICC Sydney has really been at the forefront of that so there's been a great amount of interest amongst our colleagues all around the world to come and see and experience that. Beyond the new venue, the city itself was a key factor in bringing the conference to Australia. The ICC Sydney was uh, selected for this year specifically because uh, Sydney itself has been a real standout in the industry in terms of the way that it interacts with the community, the kind of community and government support it enjoys, things that uh, many of our members are trying to achieve in their destinations. And the, the icing on the cake, as it were, was having a brand new facility to be able to meet in. Uh, being able to have the meeting here allowed us to experience both the destination with a lot of progressive ideas and approaches it had and the new ICC Sydney and uh, that, that enhanced the event tremendously because much of what is going on in the center here is a reflection of the latest design trends, the latest thinking, uh, the latest issues that are being addressed by our other members all around the world. The global rise of urban centers as the primary home of the world's population is resulting in both immense opportunities and challenges for cities looking to carve out a global reputation in dedicated knowledge sectors and attract the best talent along the way, as urbanization expert Professor Greg Clark emphasized in his address to the delegates. The meetings industry and convention and exhibition centers are a very critical kind of catalyst in the strategies of those cities in their different groups to try to demonstrate their credentials as competitors in this middle third, in this globalizing and urbanizing century where everything matters so much. The conference also unveiled the results of AIPC's inaugural benchmarking system, which allows convention centers to accurately benchmark their progress, but also acts as a vital tool in opening up conversations with government. Because in the end, uh, governments are most interested in having a conversation about the things that are important to them, not the things that are important you, uh, to us. If we can, as an industry, do a better job of demonstrating to them how the things we do, the events we host, actually support their, their priority policies, whether they're academic or academic, professional or economic, whatever they may be, uh, we're going to have a better conversation and we're going to get better support from our communities.